Welcome to day 23. Today's Friday, the 8th of March. Okay, I might, I'm getting really lost in time right now, the dates. Um, yeah, just as this is progressing, so um, forgive me, I might have said the, uh, the 8th yesterday, but today's the actual 8th, so uh, yeah, I'll just progress. Today's Friday, and yeah, 23 days into this challenge, so all in all, so far, so far everything's going good uh, in terms of um, this challenge. Now, my sleep's definitely improving, like I'm falling asleep a lot quicker. Last night I went to bed at about 10.45, and uh, I got up today at like five o'clock in the morning, okay? And I, it felt easier today getting up at five, um, waking up, it was really good while, the, while everything was all dark and so forth. So I did my meditation this morning and um, yeah, just really, really in a good spot for day 23 in terms of this challenge. Now, my dreams last night were really weird. Like, this is the thing, I think I'm just gonna end up like roller coasting these dreams. Like. You know, I did have a few good days of dreams and then had a few bad days of dreams, but last night was really bad. I had like someone in my life that, you know, did wrong to me. I'm not gonna name names because I can't be fucked, but someone who's done wrong to me and that person into my dream and yeah, I ended up like stabbing the person to death, like some fucked up shit like that, yeah. And then I just woke up and I was like, oh no, because yeah, I don't want to end up in a life sentence. So uh, yeah, it was a really, really crazy dream. Um, I, um, yeah, I don't like to have violent dreams. Yeah, like my, my past life is, is left me and I no longer want to be part of it. But yeah, it was really like really wholesome and really gruesome and it just was really detailed. Like I can even remember it, but I just don't want to get into too much detail. But I remember waking up and like that person was dead and I woke up and I was like, fuck. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so, look, the dreams, I reckon they're gonna be good days, they're gonna be bad days, they're probably gonna be days where I don't remember, but it's all part of the process um, with this journey and I'm just accepting it. But yeah, man, it's, 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 it's damaging when you wake up and it's something so severe, like something that involves death or something. It just like, it really puts me in a bit of a panic state. But when I wake up, I know it's not real, so, at the end of the day, it's this is part of the uh, the process, and I'm fully accepting it. But um, yeah, I just want to touch base with you know how like this week, man. Like in all honesty, has been a like mentally, I've been feeling good, okay. But I've also got my challenges. Like I'm human as well. So this week's been I've had some mental um, setbacks this week, I guess you could say, and um, you know it's really. It's something where I've had to overcome and, and push p forward and, and progress. But yeah, like, look, I'm like you, you know, I have my days where some days are good days, some days are bad days, but either way, I've got to make sure I get shit done, make sure I go to the gym, make sure I eat clean, um, make sure that I'm in the best frame as possible. But look, all in all, brother, this week has been a, a mentally, um, mentally challenging week for me, you could say the least. Um, I won't get into too much detail because look, it's just my own personal sort of problems that I'm dealing with, okay, in life, but I understand like everyone's gonna go through this. You're never gonna have 100% full sailing days for the rest of your life. Like you're obviously gonna have days where mental challenges come up in your life, whether it's, you know, people around you or whether it's a loved one or whether it's a family member or whether it's a friend or whether it's something that happened at work with you, like there's always gonna be little kickoffs in life that are always gonna stumble our way. And um, it's all about us persevering through it and getting past it because these dark times are temporary, okay? And the more you give energy to these dark thoughts or these dark moments, they can really, really play, play a big toll on your life and really, really, really play with your mindset, okay? And it can set you backwards as well. but. The whole reason why I'm telling you this is more or less I'm human like you, yeah? I'm, you might think, oh, this guy's always positive, you know, he's doing really well on the challenge. Like, brother, I'll tell you what, everyone that just portrays that everything's going well, hunky-dory all the time is, um, is lying to you, yeah? Like, life as you get older as a man, there's certain challenges that you'll be, you know, facing and 
you just have to persevere through it. Like there's always going to be challenges. Like even one day, like when I have kids, I know there's going to be challenges with my kids. I know like that's life. You know what I mean? So you have to, the more well-rounded you are to take issues and, and challenges and persevere through them is going to be your, how can I say? It's going to make your, your future a lot more easier to handle because as men, we go through problems in life, you know, and, and I know women do as well, but I can't speak on behalf of women because women come from a, a world of full of emotions, you know, they they need attention, they, you know what I mean? Like they, they're in constant, um, they're in constant reaction with the way they're feeling, okay? And, and we, as men, we've got bigger fucking things to worry about rather than worrying about our little emotions and so forth. So what I'm trying to get is, like you're gonna have days where you know you're not up you're not feeling it something's gonna really bother you something's gonna really piss you off something's really gonna get in the way of your journey getting the way of your path there's always going to be obstacles yeah and it's never going to be smooth sailing whether it's a fine that comes in the mail randomly unexpectedly like i've had heaps of them yeah like and you're having a good day and then bang something serious happens you're like fuck man why me yeah but like what I've learned through this difficult week of mine is these problems in life are always going to come at you. It's how you deflect them and how you how you handle yourself as a man is going to determine the outcome of your life and how your future is going to go. Like, you don't want to be one of those people that are 50, 60, haven't sorted out their problems, they're drinking away, they're doing drugs, they're just band-aiding an issue and all in all they're not facing reality head on okay and the cost of that by doing that is actually going to be you're going to be just an arsehole of a person in life like you're just going to be an arsehole like the other day for example i see this guy he came to 7-eleven yeah waiting in line we're waiting in line and um there was a bit of a queue okay so the girl was new she was at the cash register i always got a soft spot for people that are new like i'm never in a rush in that sense like there are times where i'm in a rush but i always try to look at okay well is this person look a bit new? It's a young person, you know what I mean? So you always got to give the benefit of the doubt, brother. But more or less, back to this story. So there was a guy in there, he was about probably 55 years old. He's here in Thailand. He had some groceries in his hand at, at 7-Eleven. So you can actually buy groceries, like you can buy, um, you know, tomatoes, cucumbers, spinach, and so forth. So, and um, There was like, there was a bit of a hold up at the line, yeah? So there was like, there was a fair few, like there was two people in front of this person and uh, behind this sort of 55 year old man and then behind the 55 year old man was me and um, the cash register was playing up or something was going wrong, the receipts weren't printing, something was like held, holding this girl up, yeah? And fuck man, it's a, it's a girl, yeah? Like so, like you always gotta, you know, and when you see someone new, they're a little bit shaking, they're, um, they're not so confident, like you gotta give them benefit of the doubt, yeah? So all in all, I'm waiting, minding my business, you know, I've got my headphones in, I'm listening to a bit of music, so I'm okay, take your time, take 10 minutes if you need, I really don't care, yeah, it's all good. Now, it came to, like the, the person that was in front of me, he was next, and he was fucking cussing, yeah? Like he was like, he was boiling up, he was burning up, yeah? Like, he's burning up, this guy, yeah? And, uh, fuck, I can't believe what he did, man. Like, he literally had no patience. He had his groceries in his in his, in his his little basket. He threw the basket on the table, okay? And then he threw, he had, like, spinach in his hand. He fucking threw it at the on the floor, yeah? I was tripping out, because I'm listening to my music. I'm just, like, in my own little, you know, my own little world, just waiting patiently. And um, he he threw the fucking spinach on the floor, man. Like, are you serious, brother? Like, why the fuck would you do that, man? Like, throw food on the floor when there's starving kids in countries that need food that... Like, you don't do that, man. That's like the uttermost disrespect, yeah? So what he did was he put his basket on the table like a little fucking sook and... He threw his spinach on the floor, yeah? And I, it took me like 30, like 10 seconds to realize what's going on. So he threw it on the floor and he was like, fuck this. And then he just walked out. And I started fuming, bro. I started fucking fuming. Cause look, I'm one of those guys, like I'm telling you, if someone tries to hold the fucking plane up and I'm on that plane, 
I'm going for that motherfucker. Like, I'm not letting that person fucking put anyone's life at risk. You know, you get those men that just sit there and they're scared and fucking so forth. I don't give a fuck, man. I'll put my life in front of others and fucking do the right thing to save people that are fucking innocent, yeah? Like, I don't give a fuck. So I got so fucking revved up. I almost felt like following the guy fucking back and just knocking him one, but like, I know in my heart, like, that's the old me, yeah? That was the old tiger coming out of me. And I was fucking fuming, bro. I was so fuming, but then I just calmed down and like oh man i just i got so revved up with that like that was so disrespectful and so rude but more to these stories man like i'm not trying to tell you this so it's um so it's a drama story or anything like that but more or less what i'm trying to get at get at is you don't want to be that cranky motherfucker at like 55 with no patience in life you know he's probably going to go back and have a drink like he looked like he had a like a beer belly or something and you're going to end up running through life, hating life. So that's what I'm saying. Like these mental issues, these are the people that haven't fixed their mental problems. They band-aid their issues by doing drugs or alcohol, whatever, whatever it might be. Yeah, I don't know, like whatever poison they might choose. And they take it out on the world and they take it out in society, man. We got plenty of those from Australia where I'm from. Um, and it's just like a complete bunch of sooks and whinges that haven't fixed themselves mentally. So. The whole reason of this story, brother, is so you don't end up like one of those people. I'm not saying that you will, but trust me, if I didn't fix the way I was going before in my life, okay, a couple of years ago, I would have fucking ended up in prison, okay, for for either probably killing someone or fucking really harming someone. Like, I've already got an assault charge under my name, and that's something I deeply, deeply regret, okay, but at the end of the day... I suffered the consequences from it okay so I don't want you to go through any of this shit I had bad mental health when I had that um, assault charge okay and nowadays if someone was to start me if they touch me it's a different fucking story but words and so forth like they will rev me up but I'm gonna just walk away because life's too short for me to throw my life into a prison cell and my mental health is a lot better I'm actually on a lot better path in life with purpose <clears throat> and I don't want to be one of those people that are just fucking hating on the world just because I didn't fix myself yet and brother this message is very important so please take this into consideration you might even be in your 20s and you might think fuck yeah but that won't happen to me brother I'm telling you when I was in my 20s I never thought I was going to be fucking addicted to drugs yeah I was like I used to kind of like despise like people that really fucking were, were junkies and so forth and then little did I know I became a fucking ongoing drug user. Like I had fucking like really bad drug habit, really bad drug habit. I wasn't a junkie sleeping on the fucking street, but fuck man, you never know what can happen. Yeah, give it fucking 10, 15 years of that fucking putrid life and you could be one of those people. So I've got a heart for people that have addictions because I know what it feels like. But at the end of the day, brother, you've got a brain, okay? And don't fucking waste it, don't lose it and make sure that you put yourself in the best limelight possible so you can tackle life and not go through you know poor mental health and take it out on other people you want to be the person that people want to hang around not the pers person that no one wants to be around yeah at the end of the day so i'm not saying i'm perfect i have my days where i can be in a bit of a shit of a mood but you know that's that's part of life that's nature and i'm i'm working with that like on a daily basis okay but more or less i'm more positive than negative and definitely hate being negative it fucking eats my soul and it, it ruins my day like if i have a negative day i don't let it last too long because i like to squash that problem even if it's a problem with someone like a loved one or whatever whatever it might be i just want to sort that issue out i don't like things ongoing i don't want to go to war with people like i fucking don't man I, life's too short i want to live life i want to be happy i want to be the best version of myself so Brother, if there's anything you can take from this message, okay, listen to that story I told you about that guy in 7-Eleven, okay, and even in my old jobs when I was younger, I used to see like, you know, even like in my sales jobs, I used to see like 50, 60 year old like parents or, or fucking grandparents and you look at them and they just look like they're fucking angry at the world, yeah, and you don't want to be like that. And I used to look at them and go, fuck man, you're so negative, I, I hate it. I don't even conversate with these people. Like, I, I purely hate negativity. I love people that are positive, people that are, that are, 
that are living life and not taking life 110% serious like they're gonna fucking die from stress, yeah? Like, that's just poor mental health. That's just not handling the problems you were dealing with when you were younger. And then this is a result of ignoring it, band-aiding it, and then you just take it out in the world. And then you just die. And then you look back when you're probably in your dying bed and then you go, fuck, I could have been a better version, yeah? And I don't want that to fucking happen to you, brother. So please listen to what I'm saying, okay? Please keep please keep your mental health in check, okay? Please look after your health. And as I say, training does wonders for your mental health. Eating clean does uh, wonders for your ment mental health as well. Um, but yeah, man, like all in all, I just want to sort of touch base on that on day 23 because it relates to a little bit of bit of my shit, shit sort of last couple of days that I've been going through, okay? And I'd rather be honest and, and let it out to you, brother, so you can, you know that I'm human and I go through problems myself, but all in all, we have to rise together and get past these issues, yeah? And know that this is just temporary. The more energy you feed these issues, the more it's gonna become a problem, and then it's gonna be a detriment to your life. So, yeah, man, um, enough of this rant. Like, I just wanted to make, make that point, okay, on day 23. Now, this challenge, okay, it's it's definitely getting better, okay. Uh, amongst the, the the minor issues that you know I've been facing, it's definitely getting better. There's definitely, but look, this is another thing I want to say. Sorry to sorry, sort of just chuck it in there. But by me having these like sort of last couple of days, I, I'm proud at the end of the day how I've handled myself because I've had no urges to do weed. I haven't even it hasn't crossed my mind. So. At the end of the day, the, the issues that I'm facing, I know are just mental. And as long as I'm not getting those calls saying, hey, go smoke a joint and calm down, I'm proud of myself, okay? Like I'm doing right now the, the long-term gratification, the hard yards, and I'm sacrificing my mental health right now, like going facing these pain problems that I'm dealing with in my life, okay? That everyone sort of deals with. I'm. I'm, go I'm facing them head on and I never used to be like this. I used to band-aid every fucking issue and I used to band-aid everything and never face anything head on. So it is quite new to me, you know, to like dealing with these issues and, and dealing with these challenges head on. But that's why I love speaking to the camera. So it's like an outlet for me to talk to about my problems, you know, and so forth and, and, and what challenges I'm facing. So brother, you're not alone with this. Trust me, I understand. Um, and together, it's better you just be honest with yourself and just deal with it. But just know that these problems are not gonna fucking last forever. They're just temporary and there's always a way around fixing these issues, okay? They're, they're never gonna stay forever. You've always got a choice in life to do what is the right outcome for you, okay? So just make sure you keep that in mind. Now, um, all in all, today, I've done uh, done some cardio today, okay? I've done, done a good 45 minute session of cardio. I did an abs only session because my abs need to sort of pick back up a bit. Um, they're a little bit lacking at this stage, so I'm just trying to get my abs back in check, especially on this fat loss journey that I'm on, um, this 12 week cut. And uh, I've currently got nine weeks left of it. So all in all, it's all going pretty well. Um, tonight, I'm just going to have a relaxed one and uh, I've got some chicken breast detoxing, uh, detoxing, def <laughs> defrosting right now. And uh, I'm just going to let that defrost. I'm gonna make um, some spinach, chicken breast and rice and um, just watch something and just pass out. Will I take melatonin tonight? No, I won't take melatonin. It's only there if I'm really, really racing, okay? Um, but yeah, I've had coffee today. As I said, coffee's back in my routine because it works well with my productivity and my day and it doesn't compromise on my sleep. I did have a nap today for an hour um, before the gym. So I did have that hour nap and I, I just felt like I needed that nap just to just to clear my mind. As I said, I've been going through mental challenges this week, okay? And uh, these are just personal issues that I'm facing. So these are problems that I haven't dealt with in the past that are coming back to kind of haunt me and now I'm dealing with these problems, okay? so. I had a nap just to clear my mind and just unwind and get my energy back. And uh, yeah, I've just come back from the gym, just had a meal and I've recorded this video. So tonight, that's pretty much my plans. It's day 23 and uh, tomorrow's day 24. So I look forward to seeing you brother and uh, we'll keep this journey going. We'll keep the fire burning and we'll keep the spirits and everything elevated, keep the frequency elevated and keep this movement going, yeah? I'm here for you brother, much love, peace.